Hi guys, so today I thought I would show you what my fridge and freezer and pantries look like before I go grocery shopping and then I will show you what it looks like afterwards. I just won't be, I won't have the time. Yep, you can go get the toys. I just know we won't have time to go through it all and show you. So it is Thursday now, so I'm gonna show you what we have left and then I will show you once we get back Friday. Okay, so here is the baby's cabinet. That is not the formula we use. We use the sensitive, but we got that as a sample and I just haven't gone through it yet. I haven't used it, but I don't want to get rid of it either. So we have room up here for her formula. I usually get three of these at a time and there's like that much left. Um, and then we've got some oatmeal and rice cereal, which is fine. And then this container, it has her mum mums and then some baby food, but um, most of her food is in the freezer. I will show you in a second. All right, here's our freezer. It is not bad. As you can see, all of this is baby food. We've got two bags of veggies and then one bag of some fruit. So we're good here. We need some chicken nuggets. We've got pops. Um, as you can see, I have a ton of ground beef. It was actually on sale. I was in, I think I was in um, Aldi's and I was getting something and they had this five pound pack of ground beef and it was, four dollars off the package so the per pound it ended up being a dollar 47 which is phenomenal so I ended up getting it so I have a ton of that left french fries we didn't use we have gnocchis that we made I have some meatballs left pork tenderloin which we will have this weekend probably with the broccoli um, and then there's some turkey that's left over from the turkey I made on Christmas along with some broth and then these are muffins I made the other day um, and what I did is I packaged them per week so as you can see, I still have some out here for tomorrow, but um, that way I could just grab a bag for the mornings. So that's good. And then I have a couple taco soups in one um, turkey soup, which is great because I can have that um, during the week for some lunches. So that's good. In here, we have a ton of leftovers we're trying to eat up today. Um, that sausage is actually for tomorrow. I'm gonna make a big batch of sauce. And then we have uh, just two pack, two um, not packages, two um, chicken breasts for a meal tonight, um, which those we're gonna use for lunch today. Um, we have a package of hamburger or hot dogs, some lunch meat and some cheeses, and then I think we just have a little bit of salad and a ton of grapes because the other day we have grapes up here too. I uh, did a Walmart pickup and I was like, we needed grapes, but I didn't know like they asked how much pounds, and I was like. Oh, we'll do two pounds. That should be enough. It's a crap ton. I mean, we eat through them, but still. Um, and we've got a couple eggs left. Um, some potato salad for my nephew for his lunches. So that's it for in here. All right, and this is our pantry in the kitchen. And we still have a ton of mac and cheese from our Sam's trip last week. Or not last week, last month. And actually, when we go on Friday, it will be one month since that massive haul I did and I have not gone to Sam's. I will link that video below. We have a ton of pasta. There's some behind too. We have some here, some ramen. Um, we have a ton of these tomatoes, which I will actually be using eight cans tomorrow for the uh, sauce. So that we do go through a lot. We still have some peaches, some beans, um, a lot of Alfredo sauce, which is good. We'll be using that up. And then down here, this is the kids snack cabinet, which is pretty good. Yeah. And then I will show you the big pantry. This is our pantry. This is the big closet. I do have my flash on my phone so you can see it. Um, so up here we've got this box of Doritos, which I think there's only like a handful of bags of Doritos. And then we have some of the individual pirate booty. I've got a couple of things. These are goldfish and then a couple bags of pirate booty. We still have some of these peanut butter crackers. These are like a fave, some check, uh, Cheese it, some graham crackers. I think there's only like one little sleeve in there. Some Fruit Loops still, one Pringles. We've got two um, brown sugar pop tarts, but we're, the boys are, or Jeffrey is into strawberry now, so I do need to get those. Um, we got a big box of mashed potatoes not even opened. We did open these croutons the other day, but um, we'll start using them up. We've got another ketchup, some oatmeal, um, what are those? M&Ms, got some soup crackers. This case we got the last time, and we didn't use a lot. The boys take these for school, but because they were off for two weeks, we're still just good. We got some bubble water. We got a few juice boxes. We have to pick up some more. This is just like miscellaneous, some bars and the rice rolls and some popcorn. The last of the fruit snacks, we pick those up, and then we've just got some Chex Mix, some pretzel crisps, and I think those are some scoops. And then down here we've got 
All right. So then we have these cheese balls. My mother-in-law buys the boys cheese balls for Christmas every year as a gift. It's kind of a jokey thing because when we were in Massachusetts, she had Fridays off. And so she would always come over so I could go grocery shopping or we'd take the boys out shopping. And they would always want cheese balls and she always would buy them for them. So for Christmas, they usually always get a bucket of cheese balls. But it's usually for both of them. Well, this year she decided they each needed a bucket of cheese balls. So we still have one. This one's almost dead. Um, we got some soda, which is good. So that is what it looks like before we go shopping. And then I will show you what we're done when we come back, which I know we're doing. Um, we're trying to do like the Sam's and stuff to do like for a month, which we did this last time. And so we'll see what happens. I realized I did, I realized I did not show you guys what fruit we have left. I know I showed you the grapes, but we have a few bananas and a couple of apples and then the bread. Sorry, my dishwasher is running. The bread we keep up on my fridge and just like this bucket. And we have some of these Hawaiian rolls. We have a little bit of bread left. Um, some of these mini bagels that the boys eat. One tortilla and some regular bagels. So that's what we have for bread. So here is the aftermath of shopping. As you can see, it is full up there. We have two things of formula there. We have two back here. Plus it's the last of it. Um, that's left not much. And then... Here we move it on to our, oops, something just fell. Bread, we've got, what was my freezer? Um, we did get some bagels, which we've gone through, and I can dip this in there right now. Something just shipped it. Woo! Some broccoli, but as you can see, this is actually sauce that I made yesterday. We had leftover, we always do. Got some pizza, we got some egg rolls. Um, what else we got? Yes. We got more chicken nuggets, and then we got these uh, Marie Hollanders, little chicken pot pies, we love those. Oh, that's some more sauce too. Uh, we just got a few things, not much. Yes, yeah, we can have pizza later, Jeffrey. <laughs> um, I don't think anything over here is more. I just moved around. Okay, honey. Okay. In a little bit. Okay. <laughs> and then, as you can see, the fridge is so much fuller. We got yogurts, um, a bottle of champagne for Ed and I tonight. We're having a date night at home. Uh, a big thing of potato salad. Like I said, I think I said the little ones were for my nephew. We usually get the big one. This is from Sam's. It's, I think, four pounds. Oh, it's five pounds. So that always lasts a while. Um, steaks for dinner tonight. See, we've got produce now. Um, asparagus also for dinner tonight. Some lettuce. Um, some lunch meat. Oh, there's one. Of, I got these at Sam's, so but it was a two pack. So I put one in my freezer. We buy this big thing of Parmesan cheese and just shred it. And another thing of hot dogs because we're going to have hot dogs one night for dinner. And then, let's see, this is. I don't think anything changed in here. If anything, we just put some more pop tarts. Good cookies, that was a splurge. Um, we got some more salsa, cause we needed some. And I don't, I think that's all that went in there. So I'll show you the big pantry in a sec. All right, so here's the big pantry. So we got soda, beer, we got more apple juice, which there's one in the fridge already. I don't think I pointed that out. We got some cupcakes, pecan swirls, a lot of lunchy snacks. A ton of fruit snacks. I had a couple of Mott's coupons, so I used those up. The goldfish were on sale, so we picked up four. Um, the muffins were on sale, too. These were all from Sam's, so we picked those up. Chips were on sale, too, so we picked up two bags of each. The Cooler Ranch, the Chex Mix, and the... Cool, uh, not Cooler Ranch, what are those? Nacho Cheese Doritos, we all love them. Uh, let's see, and down here... Um, ooh. This I saw at the store and I had to pick it up. This is the Ch Boom Chicka Pop hey. Lightly Sweet Kernel Corn, but these are the microwave what bags, so we're gonna try them? those. A more pop tarts, some protein bars for Robert, um, some more fruit snacks, or not fruit snacks, apple juice, apple sauce for the baby, and then we got another bag of, or another loaf of bread, and then we've got hot dog buns. And yeah, a lot of snacky stuff. Like I said, when we go to Sam's, we only go once a month because it is. Oh, so overwhelming. So we go once a month, but there were so many good sales. So we picked up a lot of stuff. We also did like toilet paper, paper towels, wipes. Um, so cleaning products. So we're like good for a while. So yeah, so that's what we got. This was the before and after.